Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to replace the hard drive in a Samsung SDR B74301N. This is a Samsung security DVR, comes with security cameras. Came out in April 2016, this model did. I'm not sure when they actually released it. Um, this is still one of the models they use. They sell at Sam's Club and other places like that. Um, this one here had a hard drive failure uh, within the first year of warranty, but there's no way I could go um, 30, 40 days without a security system, a camera system on my property. And uh, what I had originally done was took the hard drive that was in here out, which was a Western Digital Purple surveillance hard drive, uh, which is a one terabyte. And I had replaced, uh, well, I hadn't actually replaced it at that moment. I took it out and installed it into an external hard hard drive case. This was the one that was originally in it. And noticed that it had, after running a short DST test, uh, nothing came up, ran a long DST, and repaired uh, uh, a couple of sectors on there, or skipped over them. And it worked fine for uh, quite a while after that. And uh, seemed like after a power outage or something like that is when I would have a problem saying, uh, bad hard drive try reformatting it with the uh, Linux based system that's already built into these systems and nothing would help so this time I had replaced the hard drive with a Seagate Skyhawk surveillance 2 terabyte uh, keep in mind when you're replacing a hard drive in one of these you need to go to Samsung SP website and download the PDF file showing you which hard drives actually work I you make it plug almost any hard drive in that's uh, you know has a, a SATA connection and it work. I, I'm not sure, but uh, supposedly the surveillance hard drives, whether it's Western Digital Purple or Seagate Sky, Skyhawk, are designed for um, a hard drive being on 24/7 with no breaks. Um, I'm not sure what the technology is behind there or anything. I'm just going to show you how to take it apart. I don't have any fancy cameras that stay in place for me. Just a cell phone, so I'm going to just kind of show you. Uh, you remove one screw on the side. You remove this one, this one, this one, that's three on the back, and this one on the side. So you have a total of five, and I'm going to take them apart real quick for you. All right, I removed the screws just now. As you can see, they're out. And all you do is just slide it backwards until it's removed. And inside here is your hard drive. What holds it in is four screws on the bottom, right here. You don't have to completely take them out, just enough space to uh, give it some room to wobble around, but we're just going to go ahead and remove them real quick. I'm sorry, I don't know how to work any of that fancy um, editing technology where I can fast forward through all this stuff, but it's just four screws. If you'll just bear with me for a moment. Okay, that screw's going. Now when we turn the unit over, you can unplug these before or after, it doesn't matter. Uh, that hard drive's easiest to slide out this way. And forgive me, I'm having to do this one hand to hold the phone. Uh, this is the one I had replaced it with. Uh, I can't say that there's anything wrong with this. It wasn't in there very long. Um, when I replaced it with the Seagate, as soon as you boot up with a new hard drive, it's gonna show that uh, the hard drive is unformatted. So you have to go in to your settings um, using your con remote control or your mouse. And at that time, you would format the hard drive. I tried over and over and it would not um, for format this Seagate. So I had to take this Seagate take it to my computer put it in a hard enclosure hard drive enclosure and I had to go into disk management I had to initiate the drive 
name the volume, and then uh, since it's under two terabytes, two terabyte or under, um, they want you to format it in XFAT. I brought it back and installed it into here, put it in the, um, you know, back in here and turned it on, and it was still showing that it wouldn't was unformatted, but I chose the format option uh, with the Samsung controller and it formatted it and everything worked fine for about a week and then it went out again saying that uh, I had a bad disc. Uh, I had, I've had i already actually actually disassembled this and removed this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this, this drive. Um, I've contacted Samsung and um, they said that there was really not very many issues with these hard drives. I mean, not the hard drives, but the, the motherboard. Um, I don't know uh, what could be causing it. I've did a master reset, a uh, factory reset, uh, reset the entire system to see if maybe that it was an issue similar to that and I had no luck at all and so what I did was just purchased a new DVR and uh, I'll work on this one to get it repaired and I'm possibly just gonna since, since I can't figure it out just by replacing that I'm gonna send it in and pay for Samsung to repair it or um, whichever company actually makes these which I, I think it was Hanwha Tech one I'm not sure and uh, just have this as a spare that way if anything happens to the new one i have i have a uh, i have a backup and i won't be down with no surveillance and uh, repair i mean reinstalling the hard drive is just as simple you know, simply just uh, what i usually did what i did before was i put the screws in uh, each hole just barely just enough to, just enough to thread them so that they would catch thread just like that and not fall out and go ahead and slide it in because you can see the way that these are, are beveled you just get it in that spot slide it in and then go from the bottom and tighten it down and then I would plug in uh, the, the power and the data connection and but just keep in mind that once you do uh, reassemble this and put it in with a new hard drive it's going to ask for you to uh, reformat it I don't know if I had purchased one of these, would have I might not have had any problem at all, and it would have formatted, and I wouldn't have had to take it out. And since I don't know, but I just figured since that one died on me uh, within a, so many problems, you know, twice already, I decided to go with the Seagate instead, and plus have a little more room, um, which hasn't done me any good since I had to go buy a new one anyway, a new DVR anyway. So I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown on how they come apart. Uh, reassembling is just the same. Uh, once you install the hard drive with the four screws and tighten from the bottom and reinstalling the cables sliding this back on top and putting the five screws back in and everything will work uh, should work fine for you if you have any questions and uh, if I can help you in any way I'd be glad to I haven't found a lot of information at all on these systems when it comes to repairing them and uh, again that's the uh, model number for this system this is an eight channel uh, the same procedure is uh, with the 4 channel and 16 channel. I have a friend who has a 16 channel that we upgraded the hard drive to hold more space and uh, the, the procedure is pretty much exactly the same and I uh, don't think you'll have any problems figuring that out once you see how simple this is to take apart. I hope this helps in some way. I'm sorry it's such a uh, crappy video but uh, I'm doing this with my cell phone and just wanted to give you a, um, a heads up if you ever have any issues with replacing a hard drive that it's not something that you know if it's out of warranty and you don't have an extended warranty you don't have to pay somebody a bunch of money to go and do it um, I have put standard hard drives in the older um, Samsung's like the SDR 4100 and stuff like that and they work perfectly fine it didn't have uh, anything to do with uh, being a surveillance hard drive those those hard drives lasted just as long uh, actually that uh, computer hard drive was in the uh, SD4100 series when I sold it and I had used it for a year when I bought this one so that I could have better video quality which is supposedly 1080p kind of dumbed down a little bit and uh, you know I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope it's some kind of help to someone uh, as some of the previous videos have been and I appreciate your time I'm sorry it took almost about 10 minutes